Since being introduced to the world of cars when I was younger, I've always had a weakness for American muscle cars, especially the Ford Mustang. And whilst we have had a classic and somewhat modern version back in the six stud days, we now have a modern version of it in its stud wide format. And not just the standard version either, but the dark horse version. Let's take it for a spin. The Ford Mustang dark horse set number 76920 has 344 pieces and came out not so long ago as part of the massive March wave of Lego sets and depicts the car itself in brick form. Like I said in the intro this isn't just any standard version of the modern Mustang but the dark horse Mustang with a bigger wing and a more aggressive look that definitely separates this Mustang from the standard version. The last few Speed Champion sets I built featured quite interesting build techniques to achieve the look of their respective counterparts so I'm interested to see how Lego has managed to achieve the look of the Mustang in brick form and at the this scale. In terms of pricing, this set has a retail price of £20.99, which is a little bit on the expensive side in my opinion. So after waiting for a sale for a while, I bought this set at £15.50 from my local Tesco supermarket. Looking at the box art of the set, there's not much going on on the front of the box, where we see the Lego Mustang cruising along the highway with a city in the background and the Ford logo in the top right corner of the front. Turn the box around and we see the car again, but from the back, revealing the signature Mustang taillights we see on every Mustang since its introduction in 1964. Next to that picture is a picture of the real car which might I say looks very menacing in this blue. This is on top of another picture of its Lego counterpart giving us a look at the front of the car where we also see the grille which is yet another signature part of the design of the Mustang. Inside the box we get four bags full of parts, a chassis piece, a selection of rims for the wheels, a sticker sheet with 11 stickers on so not as many as other Speed Champion sets and finally instructions for the build. Once built this is what the set looks like. I really think Lego have managed to capture the front of the car quite well with the printed parts alongside the printed grille and the parts usage in general. The only thing that irritates me about the front is the printed parts. It looks like they're two different patterns and it makes it look a little bit messy. The back and side profile isn't bad. The printed pieces on the back don't quite line up which is quite annoying. The bonnet is what really bothers me about this car. Like it just looks messy because of all the gaps between the parts and I tried so hard to get them level so that there were no bumps between the bricks but it's pretty much impossible to do. The build experience wasn't too bad for this set. You start off with the middle section with the sides of the cars as well as the interior which has a few nice details including the gear shifter, chairs and stickers that add an extra little detail like the centre console. You then build the rear of the car where you add these printed parts to make the signature Mustang taillights then onto the front which is where most of the frustration came from when building this car. And this is because some parts are held in place in unconventional ways, making them a little unstable and can easily come off when you're building the set. Honestly, this set could have been better, but then there aren't too many stickers and it does look good when displayed and not up close. This set has one minifigure, which is this female minifigure with an awesome hairstyle, Mustang dark horse hoodie and blue pants. There is printing on the front and back of the torso, but that's it. This minifigure is very basic to be honest, but then it doesn't need to be fantastic as it's the car you're buying this set for really. So most people usually make a minifigure of themselves and put them in the car which is a pretty cool idea to be fair. I feel like I've been very critical of this set but it's been ages since we've had a modern Mustang set from Lego and honestly I'm a bit let down. The front is near perfect, the side profile looks really good and captures the Mustang side profile quite well. The back isn't too bad I guess but that bonnet or hood for you those in the US just really bothers me. The minifigure isn't great but as I said before most likely you'll be changing it out for one of your own if you have one so it isn't really a problem in my eyes. For £15.50, I'm glad I didn't pay more to be honest. The Speed Champion sets are getting expensive these days, but then for the most part the builds have gotten better in my opinion. What do you think of this set? Do you agree with me or maybe you have a different view on this set? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.